Welcome to Heath Rouse Barbecue. Today on Shooting the Cube, we're going to be cooking old school barbecue chicken my way. We're going to be cooking on the Traeger pellet grill at about 250 degrees with hickory pellets. Let's get started. To get started, we bought a whole chicken from our local butcher here at the meat market. All that we're going to do, you can see we've got two wings, two legs, two thighs, and two breasts. I've taken, I've put them in, dried them off, put them in the fridge for about an hour to kind of help dry the chicken skin out. Now all I want to do is get them turned over and seasoned with a salt, pepper, garlic blend of my everyday rub and my sweet barbecue rub. Now once I've got all the chicken turned over, I want to go ahead and get a good coat of my everyday rub on it. And don't be as scared to season this chicken pretty good. Now while I've got it turned over and I've got that on there, I want to go ahead and get a little bit of sweet rub on it, a little bit of color. Now once I've got the bottom side seasoned, I want to go ahead and get it flipped back over so I can season the top side. Now I like leaving the wing tips on and everything on the chicken wings, thighs, big bone-in breast. Now you can cook if you want to buy all breasts or all wings or all thighs or all legs at the store here, you can. I just bought a whole chicken so we could uh, get a little bit of everything. Now I want to go with a good salt, pepper, garlic on top. And if you don't want to use my seasoning, you can always use other brands out there. Just whatever works best for you. I'm going to come back with a little bit of sweet rub on top of that. Get that seasoned in pretty good. Now all we want to do is kind of give it a minute to sweat in, and I'm going to get it on the Traeger, like I said, and let it go low and slow, about 250 degrees. Now I want to go ahead and get this chicken on. All right, now that we've got the chicken on, I went ahead and put a little more seasoning on it where I couldn't hit it in the pan. I'm going to get the grill lid shut, and I'm going to cook it for about 45 minutes, and we're going to start basting with vinegar sauce. All right, now that our chicken's been on for about 40 minutes, you can see the rub's kind of set. We want to go ahead and start basting it with some of our vinegar sauce. Now what we're doing is just kind of basting this with this, and then we're going to come back. We're going to pull it off before it gets done all the way. Base it again, let it rest. Put our sweet sauce on it and kind of turn the grill up to 500 degrees or as high as it'll get. Kind of get a little bit of char on it. Now our chicken's been on for about two and a half hours. We've turned it, we've basted it, basted it with a vinegar sauce three different times. We held the grill at 250 degrees, now we pulled it off. The chicken breast has had a hit 155 degrees. The legs and the thighs have hit 162, 163. Now we're going to come back, base it with some sweet sauce, crank that grill up to 500, and go ahead and get it back on. Now we want to go ahead and get it basted with some sweet sauce on it. And I'm going to get it back on there when the grill gets up to temp, kind of set the sauce, kind of get a little bit of a char on it, and we'll have some good old old school barbecue chicken on a pellet grill. All right, now that our chicken's been on, for about 20 minutes after we baste it with sweet sauce at almost 500 degrees on the Traeger, we're going to get it pulled up and plated up. Now just to recap, we took a whole chicken, we seasoned it with our everyday rub, our sweet rub. We come back, we put it on the grill, we let it go 45 minutes at 250 degrees, then we basted it with our vinegar sauce, then we come back every 30 minutes after that, two and a half hours worth until the chicken got to 155 degrees, once some of it was hitting 160, the dark meat was. We pulled it off, let it rest, cranked our grill up to almost 500 degrees, sauced it with our sweet sauce, put it back on there for about 10 minutes to set the sauce real good. And now you see my version of good old classic barbecue chicken for the 4th of July. I can't wait to eat. You see the flies is ready out here, so you know I am. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna try one of these legs here. The sauce is so sticky and gooey. chicken is hot. It's spicy. It's sweet. I feel like I'm wearing it. It's all over me. Remember, if you like what we're doing, subscribe to our channel. Share it with your friends. We're going to keep putting videos out weekly. Hope you enjoy them. Thanks a lot.